Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sienna here with a brand new video and today we are talking about spirit guides, but more specifically, what are spirit guides do? So if this is something that you're interested in, stay put. Now we all have spirit guides and they come in many forms and they do many different things to help us. In this video, I'm gonna go over four things that they do for us, but there are so, so many more than that. So if you want me to make a part two to this video, just let me know in the comments below. One thing that spirit guides do is heal us. They can heal us in a lot of different ways. Um, they can help us to channel Reiki energy for healing. They can send us our love when we're feeling down or we just need a little bit of extra encouragement, especially if there's nobody else around in person to help us. They also send us healing when we are feeling sad or sick or injured and so on. They help to line people up on our path that are going to help us to heal. They might help set you up with the right doctor or the right healthcare provider to help you get through whatever it is that you need healing from. And at the same time, they will continue to send their loving healing energy to you. This could be a little bit similar to healing, but the next thing that they do is protect us. So they can protect us from harm. That can be physical harm, emotional or mental harm, spiritual harm. Sometimes they can prevent us or help us to avoid being sick or hurt. They can send us warnings when we start going down an unhealthy path or just an unideal path that's just not in our best interest. They can influence people to reject us and that sounds really weird, but there is a saying that rejection is divine protection. Sometimes our spirit guides can influence toxic jobs, people, etc., to say no to us. No, the position's already been filled, or no, I'm actually not interested in you that way. And at first, it might be difficult to wrap your head around, well, I prayed for this and I didn't get it, so what the heck is this? But the way I like to think about it is that sometimes our spirit guides influence the trash to take itself out so that we don't have to deal with it. Our spirit guides can also help us to recognize when we're having a gut feeling that's telling us something important. They can send us warnings when dangerous or otherwise untrustworthy people are around. I'm sure you've had that before where you've met somebody and you thought, well, they seem okay, but there's just something really off about them. You can thank your spirit guides for giving you that little warning. Sometimes they act in really big and obvious ways. For example, I heard a story about um, a another YouTuber that he was driving down the highway and somebody went into the wrong lane or, or cut into his lane and it would have resulted in an accident. But almost like miraculously, this truck that was in front of him suddenly just veered off into another lane and missed him by like this much. And he attributed that to help from spirit. I've had a similar situation happen, also in traffic. <laughs> and I really, really felt like there was some kind of a, an angelic or otherwise protective loving being that literally like pushed my car out of the path of the oncoming vehicle. So there's some, sometimes they can protect us in really dramatic ways like that. Sometimes they just protect us in really small, subtle ways. One of the biggest things that our spirit guides do is teach us. They help us to absorb and understand spiritual information that we receive through our intuition or through meditation or through an external teacher. They help the spirit guides just kind of help the message to sink in, help us to understand what it is that we need to understand at the time. They can send us messages in our dreams and they can help us to decode our dreams. Our spirit guides also can provide us with answers or advice should we ask for it. 
Sometimes they aid us with meditation or channeling, helping us to relax or teaching us which meditation method, because there are so many out there, resonates best with us or is going to be easiest for us to continuously do. Some guides specialize in different aspects of earth life. Some guides are really good with things like business matters and maybe help some business owners to make good decisions or help provide them with confidence or the wisdom that they need. Some guides are excellent with children and help people like parents and teachers to continue to love their kids and show empathy and compassion and teach them as best they can. The list of examples of specialized guides and things that they can help us with is endless. And when you ask spirit for help with a certain aspect of your life, you better believe that they will send somebody who knows what they are doing, somebody who can help you in a way that you will understand. Not only do our spirit guides teach us, they learn from us too. Some beings watch us live our lives and take notes, so to speak, for their own spiritual development. Humans have some experiences that just don't happen in the spiritual realm. This can be things like sadness, loss, fatigue, illness. Guides can gain wisdom from watching us learn and grow through these experiences. They also learn from our good times. They learn from what makes us happy. They learn about what we value. They learn about how we love despite living in a reality that is just so dense and, I'm going to say, difficult. Now, technically, this is item five on the list, but I kind of didn't really include it. I thought it was going to be super obvious at first, but then I had the feeling that I should explain this or reiterate this. They love us. The biggest thing that our spirit guides do is they love us and they want to help us. I do have a video on whether or not our spirit guides get angry with us and short answer is no, they don't. But check out that video if you want to know a little bit more on that topic. But like I said, they love us. They adore us. They are not bothered by anything that we ask them or come to them with because they appreciate being called on. It's like a parent being happy that their child came to them with a problem instead of the child trying to figure it out on their own and making things worse or getting themselves into worse trouble. When we ask our guides for help, it just shows that we're taking initiative over our lives and we're trying to do everything that we can to improve our situation or to learn and grow as best we can. So that was a nice quick little video on some of the things that our spirit guides do for us. And if you liked this, like I said earlier, suggest in the comments what you want me to talk about regarding spirit guides. What are some of your questions regarding our guides? If you want to know more things that they do, just let me know and I can always make another video with that. Please remember to like and subscribe to Sienna Rose Metaphysical. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again.